Without objection, the gentlelady from New York is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of the Limit Save Grow Act, which addresses the current debt limit crisis while prioritizing responsible spending practices. Critically, this bill will lead to over $4.5 trillion, with a T, in taxpayer savings over the next decade and reverse a dangerous trend of, of reckless fiscal mismanagement on the part of the Democrats. Americans and New Yorkers, where I hail from, are facing a fiscal crisis due to a persistently high inflation, rising interest rates, and debt at unsustainable levels. This is a direct result of the trillions upon trillions of dollars that the Democrats have spent since President Biden took office in January 2021, and also a fact, my former colleague from the New York State Assembly, now minority leader here, should know that 40% of our nation's debt was incurred under the leadership of the former speaker, who the minority leader described as the best speaker of all time. Well, he should know the state of New York has the highest taxes, the highest spend rate, the highest corporate welfare, and the highest outmigration of people and jobs in the entire nation. Americans and New Yorkers are facing a fiscal crisis. Instead of politicizing the impending debt limit predicament, Democrats should prioritize responsible spending and work with House Republicans on a solution to reduce reckless spending, save taxpayer money, and grow our economy. It's time for President Biden to come to the negotiating table and work with House Republicans on a path forward to economic stability and growth. And please don't mimic the model that New York has set, where we once had 45 representatives in the 1960s down to 26. So thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back. I urge all my colleagues to support this bill, and I yield. Gentlemen from Mass